Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Radiology Interesting Update. Today we will discuss breast disease and mammography. Well circumscribed breast masses. Benign cyst. Most commonly seen in women from 30 to 50 years old. May be associated with pain and tenderness, with symptoms occurring just before and with the menstrual cycle. May be multilocular or multiple and associated with other findings of fibrocystic disease. When multiple masses are present, it is essential that each be evaluated individually so that a well-defined carcinoma is not missed. Imaging findings. Round or ovoid mass with density equal to or slightly greater than that of the breast parenchyma and oriented along the path of the ducts. A halo sign is often present. Figure 1 benign cyst. Large homogeneous mass partially surrounded by a lucent halo. Fibroadenoma. Common benign. Estrogen sensitive tumor that usually appears in adolescents and young women before age 30. Tumor growth may be enhanced by pregnancy or lactation. After menopause, the tumors undergo mucoid degeneration, hyalinize, and become calcified. Occasionally, myxoid degeneration in the mass can cause retraction of surrounding tissue in irregular, poorly circumscribed margins that simulate malignancy. Imaging findings Round, ovoid or smoothly lobulated mass of medium density. Often contains calcification varying from punctate peripheral deposits to characteristic coarse, popcorn-like densities. Figure 2 Fibroadenoma. Smooth, round mass with clearly defined margins. Medullary carcinoma. Represents approximately 4% of all malignant tumors of the breast. Because they are well demarcated and have a soft consistency, they can be mistaken for benign tumors both radiographically and clinically. They are typically located either deep in the breast or in the areolar or subcutaneous areas. Irregular margins can suggest underlying malignancy, although the border can be sharp, and there can even be a halo sign. Imaging findings. Medium to high density mass without calcification. Figure 3 Medullary Carcinoma. Large, lobulated, high density mass. Mucinous carcinoma. Represents approximately 3% of all breast malignancies. As with medullary carcinomas, mucoid carcinoma tends to be peripherally located and may mimic a benign process when its margins are well circumscribed and there is an associated halo sign. Imaging findings, low density mass because of the presence of mucin. Figure 4 Mucinous carcinoma. Enlargement from a mediolateral view in an elderly woman with a palpable mass shows a large, lobulated mass of low density partially surrounded by a halo. Note the secretory calcifications. Papillary carcinoma. Slow-growing tumors, intraductal, intracystic, and invasive types, that may mimic benign lesions on mammography. Calcification may develop in the wall of an intracystic papillary carcinoma. Imaging findings, low density mass. Figure 5 Papillary Carcinoma. Large, low-density, lobulated mass with distinct margins. Papilloma. Most common cause of bloody or serious nipple discharge. Solitary papillomas usually develop in the retroareolar ducts. Multiple papillomas generally occur in the peripheral ducts. Most papillomas are not detectable on mammography. Introductal papillomas may be shown on galactography. Intracystic papillomas may be visualized on pneumocystography. Imaging findings, low to medium density mass. Crescent, rosette, or eggshell calcification can occur. Figure 6 Papilloma. A. Plain mammogram shows a possible nodule, arrowhead, on the craniocaudal projection that could not be confirmed on the mediolateral view. B. Film obtained during galactography shows contrast material outlining a lobulated mass, arrowheads, in the region of the nodule. Hematoma. Most commonly caused by blunt or surgical trauma, although hematomas may develop in patients who are anticoagulated or have clotting abnormalities. The combination of hemorrhage and edema more commonly results in an ill-defined mass or a diffuse area of increased density. Although the mammographic findings simulate carcinoma. A history of trauma suggests a conservative approach. Follow-up examinations show gradual decrease in size or even disappearance of the lesion. An organized hematoma may occasionally persist as a more sharply defined mass. Imaging findings, medium to high density mass, often having slightly irregular margins. 
Overlying skin edema is usually present in the acute stage if the hematoma is secondary to trauma. Figure 7 Hematoma A. Mammogram of a firm, palpable mass that arose at a recent biopsy site shows a dense lesion associated with skin thickening, arrows. B. Three months later, there has been almost complete resolution of the hematoma with only minimal residual architectural distortion, arrows. Lipoma Common slow-growing benign tumor that usually presents in older women. More easily detected in a dense, fibroglandular breast than in the fatty-replaced breast. Uncommon infarction may result in coarse or plaque-like calcifications. Lipomas can be mimicked by fatty lobules, which are partially surrounded by Trebekeli and Cooper's ligaments. Imaging findings, lucent mass with a thin surrounding capsule. Figure 8 Lipoma. Well delineated. 3 cm area of lucency with a surrounding capsule, arrow. Oil cysts. Form of post-traumatic fat necrosis that may occur after breast surgery or trauma. Imaging findings, lucent mass surrounded by ring-like calcification. Figure 9 Oil cysts. Multiple, partially calcified cysts, arrows. Note the vascular calcification, arrowheads. Galactus ale. Milk containing cysts caused by obstruction of a duct by inspissated milk in a woman who has abruptly stopped breastfeeding. The lucency reflects the lipid content of milk. Typically multiple, with individual lesions measuring less than 3 cm in diameter. Imaging findings, lucent or mixed density mass that may demonstrate a characteristic fat fluid level when imaged with a horizontal beam. Figure 10 Galactus ale. Sharply defined lesion, arrow containing both lucent and opaque components in a young woman who noted a lump in her breast during nursing. Fibrodinolipoma hamartoma. Uncommon benign tumor composed of normal or dysplastic mammary tissue, including adipose and fibrous tissues and ducts and lobules in variable amounts. Loss of normal architecture with lack of orientation of glandular elements toward the nipple results in an appearance resembling a slice of sausage. Imaging findings varies from a relatively lucent to a relatively dense mass, depending on the amount of fat compared to parenchymal tissue. Sharply demarcated capsule. Figure 11 Fibrodinolipoma. Large, well-defined mass of mixed density in the upper central portion of the right breast. The mass contains fat as well as ovoid soft tissue masses that is surrounded by a thin capsule, arrow. Cystosarcoma thyroides. Rare fibroepithelial tumor. Approximately 80% are benign, although they can have tentacle-like projections extending out into the breast parenchyma that lead to recurrence after surgery. An indistinct portion of the margin of the tumor may indicate invasion into adjacent fibroglandular tissue. Coarse calcification in the mass suggests that it probably represents a large fibroadenoma. Imaging findings, solitary, large, rounded mass of medium to high density, or a conglomeration of smaller individual masses. Figure 12 Cystosarcoma thyroides. Huge, sharply outlined, radiopaque tumor that is mammographically benign. Metastasis. Most frequently from a contralateral breast carcinoma, although a second primary breast carcinoma is far more common than a contralateral metastasis. Most frequent primary tumors that metastasize on the breast are melanoma, carcinoma of the lung, sarcoma, ovarian carcinoma, and lymphoma. Imaging findings. Most commonly a solitary mass of medium density in the peripheral location, especially the superlateral quadrant, may present as multiple masses or as diffuse involvement of the breast. Figure 13 Metastasis from Melanoma Mediolateral oblique projection shows two circumscribed tumors near the chest wall. Skin lesions slash normal variants Epidermoid inclusion cyst, subcutaneous cyst, neurofibroma, mole, keratosis, retracted nipple. If the breast is turned with the lesion in tangent, the mass disappears or projects at the skin surface. Imaging findings. Medium density lesion that is extremely well defined, as a result of air trapped around the lesion as it is compressed against the breast. Crenulated margin if the surface is irregular. Figure 14 Mole on the skin surface. The broad rim of lucency surrounding the mass, arrow, 
indicates that it lies on the skin rather than in an intradermal or intraparenchymal location. Nipple out of profile. Different appearance of the mass on an orthogonal projection. Imaging findings. Medium to high density appearance. Intramammary lymph node. A node may increase in size and still be benign, although if it does not have a definable lucent hilum and measures 1 cm or more a biopsy may be necessary to exclude malignancy. Benign conditions associated with intramammary, as well as axillary, nodes include rheumatoid arthritis, sarcoidosis, psoriatic arthritis, and systemic lupus erythematosus. Imaging Findings Medium to low density lesion with a fatty notch or center. Often bilateral and multiple, and almost always located in the superlateral quadrant. Figure 15 Intramammary Lymph Node. Typical well defined, bean shaped density in the superlateral quadrant. This is the end of our lecture. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.